So I work on the exterior of the car, uh, design the outside, obviously everything you see. I uh, work closely with the interior designer at our studio in North Hollywood here in Los Angeles. Okay. So, so tell me about the car. What do you love about it when you were doing the design on it? Uh, well, this car is uh, about the journey. That's the kind of ethos of the vehicle. And uh, Pebble Beach Concours, I don't know if you're familiar with the show, that's uh, something we go and visit every year. And that was really the sort of backdrop for the car, trying to understand what sort of vehicle would be appropriate and most enjoyable to take the time uh, to travel up the Pacific Coast Highway to that, to that show. Uh, for not just you and your partner, but for two couples, so for four people. An open top vehicle for four people just to enjoy the journey. It's a pretty racy car. It brings you back to some of the classic convertibles. Yeah, I mean, cl classic is a word that keeps coming up, and I think uh, one of the main reasons is because it, it reflects a vehicle that we haven't seen for, for many decades. You know, a true full place open vehicle. We see lots of two plus two convertibles that are almost always the, the coupe with the roof taken off, but this vehicle really commits to those four uh, places. Oh, wait a minute, so there is no rooftop? There is a roof, but oh, the, yeah. the actual space in the vehicle, the, the car is actually about um, a foot longer than a Cadillac CTS, but all of that length happens between the wheels, so we've really concentrated on the interior volume on the vehicle, so although I'm the exterior designer, um, yeah. you know, the main brief was really to try and dedicate as much space as possible to the interior volume, to try and make sure that that second row that's normally so compromised is, is just as luxurious as the front row. So when you were designing it, what was your inspiration and in if you were to design it after an animal, or what animal would it be? Uh, well, my inspiration was really uh, Cadillacs. And, uh, the, from, from classic Cadillacs to current Cadillacs, I think uh, the art and science form language is actually a really good tool to use to describe Cadillacs, and that's the interplay between the artistic elements and more scientific elements, you know, the technology, the grace. I think that interplay, that's the magic that is Cadillac. So for me, designing this car to try and reflect that, but at the same time hold on to what's been successful with Cadillacs over the years. I think their surface language, um, their, their sort of form and their sort of bold presence, I think it's actually a really enjoyable uh, brand to design for us. So, it's a gorgeous car. Thank you. Yeah. What's your favorite part? Um, my favorite part is probably the, the plan shape of the car. Um, yeah. the, the graphic line that runs from nose to tail, this bright work that encapsulates the interior volume. You don't get to see it um, so much from, from ground height, but once you get above the car, the car's got a beautiful plan shape. Um, it's kind of boat-like in a way, uh, but it's really fluid and quite sort of lyrical. And I think that's something that is a little bit of a departure from uh, recent Cadillac, Cadillac products, where we're getting a little more lyricity, a little more fluidity into the car. And I think that, that's what helps to give the car, you know, somewhat more mature and classic feel. Nikki, that is absolutely gorgeous. Is there anything else people should know about the car that isn't already out there in the media? Um, I guess at the moment, we're obviously, you know, looking uh, into the production possibilities and uh, for me that would be fantastic to see something as bold as this car. So well, I'm hoping. <laughs> I know I'm like talking as if it's going to be like a 2013 model. But. No, I mean, I think the, the car's been well received, which yeah, is always gorgeous. great, but it's actually really important as well because uh, as much as we believe internally in the way that the brand should go, it also needs to reflect the way the public see the brand. And, uh, and it seems that we've, we've hit on something here where we're all on the same page and, and that will hopefully help the case for the car going forward. So I guess what I'd love to see most is to see this on the road. Well, it's a gorgeous car. Thank you. We hope to see it be more than a concept. Yeah, me too. So fingers crossed. Thank you, Nikki. So.